everyone welcome back to this house of fashion today's episode is going to be based on how to cut abaya kimono gown using three and a half years of dotted fabric this abaya it has both stone so including the placing of the stone i'll be showing it to you so the first thing i'm going to do here i'm going to cut it into two then place it on each other before cutting it out so now this is after cutting it into two this is the first one and here is the second one but before I place this other one on it, I'm going to share it into two also. The reason why I'm going to do this is that it has opening at the front. So that is why I'm doing that at initial now so that it won't affect the measurement when stitching. So I'll be sharing this into two also. So now after sharing it into two, the next thing to do now is to place it on it. It's going to be like leaving a zip around because there is opening at the front. You can see the way I'm placing it. I'm going to straight it out. So now, after placing it like this, you can see the way I place it. It's like leaving a zip around. So the next thing I'm going to do is the measurement. The full length of this dress is going to be 58 inches. The long sleeve is going to be 30 inches, and the Bust measurement is going to be 46 inches. Why the ammo is not a normal ammo, you know, it's got together with the sleeve. It's going to be bigger than when you're going to join a sleeve to, to the ammo. So let me measure now. It's not going to have a waist measurement because it's going to be like an A line. So the waist measurement is 40 inches. So this is 30 inches from here you can see it for the slip length that's so after that you're going to take measurement of the ammo the ammo measurement here of using 11 as i told you i said it's not a normal measurement of the normal ammo measurement is eight inches but since they cut together with the slip so it won't be tight at the ammo side that's why i'm using um 11 inches so, so the bust measurement here is 11.5 inches. So the seam allowance of one inch. So, then you're going to slant it down. Then you're going to consider the waist measurement before you cut it out. So consider the waist measurement from here. The waist point is 16 inches. Then the waist measurement is 40. It has a rope belt. So this measurement will be okay for it. This is 40 inches for the waist. With addition of 3.3.2 inches, so will be okay for the for the rope that we're going to put inside the kimono. So let's cut it out. So now this is after cutting it out. You can see the shape. After when I cut it out, that is the shape. So the next thing that we need here is to cut out the neck. So the neckline, the wideness of the neck here is going to be three inches for the wideness of the neck. So the deepness of the neck. The front is going to be a fish shape. Then the back is a round shape. So the thickness of the back, I'm going to use 2.5 inches. Then I'm going to connect the, the lines together. Then I cut. Then I'm going to remove the back and for me to blow the front. So the thickness of the front is going to be 7.5 inches. So this is 7.5 inches. 
and it's going to be a fish shape. This is the front now. The front is a fish shape and the back is a round shape. You can see? By the time I'm through the joining, you're going to see it. The reason why I didn't take the length measurement is that the fabric is 58 inches already. That is why I didn't take the I didn't want to take the length measurement. So I it's 58 inches that I need. So welcome to the stony section. I'll be using stone ball to beautify this abaya and I'll be taking you through the process. This is the box stone that I'll be using. This is one million stone and this is what I'll be using. And this is how I'll be cutting it out. You can see the way I cut this. This is 15 stones. I counted 15 stone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So then I cut it out. Then this particular one, I cut this out to the straight one. It's a single straight stone, you can see. And this is what I'll be using to beautify the abaya. You'll be using two of these, two of these raw stones. So that is what I cut one out, and I'll soon cut this particular one too. For the sewing, I'll be uploading the video too as well. So that's why you have to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe. In order for you to get the notification whenever I upload it. So I'll be starting with the sleeve here. So in order for me to be able to stone it, I start the journey from here. And see where I start the journey from. So this is the slip area. So for me to be able to open it this way to place the stone on it. After setting it out like this, then I can place it on it. six layers out here then the next thing for me now is to place the machine on let me eat it again So after removing the nylon, I'll place the machine on it again. So I'll be doing the same thing for the second step as well. The next one is the side. Here is the side at the down part and this is what I'll be doing now. Here is the one of the side at the down part. As you can see where I cut the stone out to bring out the shape. So after this, I'll be doing the second part as well. Then I'm going to show you everything when I'm done with it.
I'll be eating it now. After, after some minutes, then I'll open it. Then I'm going to eat it again. Then I'm going to open it. And this is how we'll be doing for the other side too. 